Several years ago, I was regularly asked to share my experience of creating and growing companies with student groups in schools, colleges and universities. I was, and still am, in no doubt that visiting speakers add value. But I wasn't convinced then that asking people to sit and listen passively to what one person had to say was the best way for budding entrepreneurs to learn. However, the experience did convince me to look more widely at how academia and enterprise agencies and commercial organisations taught business and entrepreneurship skills. And what I found helped shape the fundamental principles for the development of SimVenture. It quickly became clear that very few resources offered the learner an active and meaningful experience that reflected reality. In fact, in several cases, people were being taught untruths. Even though starting a business or new venture involved risk, there was no way for learners to practice and fail authentically whilst training. And learners were often disengaged by the style of teaching or training, especially when it was one talking to many. And sustaining good practice was difficult because often time pressures and resource constraints made it very difficult for the teacher. But back in 2002, I believed that unless there was a fundamental review of the way people were able to learn about business and entrepreneurship, the government would never really improve business startup rates and thus achieve its targets. So with my experience in business and the research completed, I was convinced that a high quality business startup simulation could make a valuable difference. My brother Paul, who specialises in software development, agreed to design the simulation and we worked together on the project, but neither of us expected it to take four years. Ultimately though, SimVenture was launched in 2006 and from the start proved to be a highly popular learning and teaching resource, both in academic and commercial fields. With a burgeoning client base, Paul Bruff Jones was prized from education so that he could head up our learning and teaching responsibilities within the company. And by 2009, SimVenture had won a number of awards and was being sold all over the world. International growth has fueled the development of a global agent network, as well as translations of the product into different languages. The SimVenture team remains very much focused on the principles of the original product's design. By providing authentic resources that engage minds in a highly sustainable way, we're able to help teachers and trainers work with individuals to develop real business and entrepreneurial talent.